think that there's never been any doubt in my mind that I wouldn't get, you know, get be cured of this. I just, once I found out, I just made up my mind, that's it. You have to, you just have to keep taking it one day at a time and just, just keep that positive attitude and know that I can do this. I, I will, I'll get through it. It's uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, uh, July 17th, 1997. We're at uh, St. Luke's Hospital. And uh, we're about to do the first case uh, in the St. Louis area of ovarian tissue freezing. <laughs> okay, well, I'm uh, Dr. Silver, Sherman Silver, the Infertility Center of St. Louis. And we really have a treat right now. Uh, this is Jennifer, who at 24 years of age, mm -hmm. I'm right on that, yes. right? Came down with a terrible case of leukemia. Uh, they thought she was going to die, uh, but just to be safe, in case she lived, <laughs> when she did, <laughs> and was cured, uh, we would freeze her ovarian tissue. So that was like 20 years ago. And uh, this is the first case that we ever did, and we're the only ones right now really actively with a program in the whole United States. And um, it's been a long time, and we didn't know that we'd be able to transplant the tissue back, and we didn't know if we could culture the tissue. And here she is now. We, we had her on Facebook Live a fer uh, several months ago, and she was happily pregnant, and uh, now look what we have. Now, she's, she's 44 years old, if I can reveal that, with a 24-year-old ovary, and a beautiful baby. What's her name again? Madeline Grace. Madeline Grace. Madeline Grace. And Mom and Dad, Hi. and this is to me is a miracle. So, so tell tell us how, how it feels. It's it's great. It's yeah. very exciting. I think that um, it took us a little while to get pregnant, but um, you know, it just we just kept trying, and uh, it paid off. Dr. Sharon Silver, Infertility Center of uh, St. Louis, and I'm here with the most amazing fertility story ever. This is Amy Tucker. I've known her since she was a little 19-year-old girl <laughs> who was facing death with uh, Hodgkin's disease, a terribly difficult case. And uh, She's uh, got two children from her frozen uh, ovary that we froze uh, uh, before she underwent uh, her uh, chemo and bone marrow transplant that sterilized her, and she's now pregnant with twins. <laughs> she's going to wind up having four children uh, from this ovary we froze uh, before she had this uh, uh, life-threatening cancer and was treated for it. Here's Amy. <laughs> Yeah. Hi. Um, so yeah, it's been quite the experience that we've had. Um, I wouldn't have guessed when I was 19 years old. I wasn't really thinking about family, and I remember being approached about freezing the ovary tissue by a nurse, and I was in the right place at the right time. And so we were able to freeze the tissue, and um, luckily, because after the bone marrow transplant, I wasn't able to conceive. I went into menopause. You were completely in menopause. Completely in menopause, completely yeah, with, the, with the remaining ovary. Yeah. So, like, I think a lot of times when you're in the heat of the moment of, like, cancer and you're facing, like, treatment and you need to start treatment right away, you don't have time to really think about, well, later down in life, when I survive this cancer, what am I going to do about, you know, family? So, yeah. at that point, and obviously I gained a whole lot. <laughs> and, now, and now you're going to have... Four children uh, from this uh, nineteen-year-old ovary. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and how old are you now? Um, I'll be. Uh, I'm thirty-nine right now. Oh my gosh! So yes. you would have been in yes. just because of age. Maybe. Ranch. The fact that I couldn't have children <sighs> really scared and frightened me. Two years ago, at the age of 21, Melissa was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. She was told her treatment would include very high doses of chemotherapy. I thought, I'm young, I can do it. The odds are looking really great for me. Hodgkin's lymphoma, very curable. 
And then I really started looking into my papers and my books that you get, and I came across the fertility, and I burst into tears. I don't have a biological clock anymore. He took it away from me. <laughs> so when I'm ready to have kids, it's not going to be a problem. Well, Melissa, this is a fantastic moment for for all of us. Uh, it is. I mean, I, uh, when are you going to have the baby? We are scheduled for a week from yesterday, so six, six more days. Six more days, and you look really ripe. I am very ripe, yes. <laughs> <laughs>